Facebook Live. We back at it one more time. Um, we back at it one more time. Hallelujah. Who's we on? Yeah, yeah. Nicole, bless you. About to get back in this word. Hallelujah. Back at it one more time. Jerome, Jerome. Tammy, Tammy, we finna get it in. We still gonna keep chipping at the fundamentals of, of like a true relationship. The true relationship. Praise Yah, Tammy. Praise, praise him. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Let's say a quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly, we know how. Ask you to continue to deal with your people, continue to transform the transformation uh, process that we might be just like you. You know, he that has this hope uh, to see him as he is, he that has this hope purifies himself even as you are pure. Continue to purify us, cause us to walk circumspectly before you. Forgive us for all sins and forgive those who sinned against us. And we be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And all man, Rhea, uh, bless you, big Mark, Mark. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people is catching up with us, uh, uh, children of the Most High. And so with that, you know, just the reiteration of truth because there is no, you know, new gospel. There, there's no new plan of salvation. This is what it is. This is what was spoke of in the beginning uh, when, 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 when the Most High said, to, uh, you know, you know, to the snake that, um, you know, the seed of the woman, you know, you going to bruise, he going to bruise your head and, uh, your head gonna bruise the heel of his foot, and so this is this is the process right here. And so, um, with that being said, uh, I'll call Rita P. Bless you. Let's dive on into the word. Um, let's go to Romans um, seven just to break. You know how we do it. Ain't nothing new. Let's just let's just deal with it. See what the Most High said. Um. Romans 7 and 9. Let's start the 9 first. Look what it say. It say, For I was alive once with without the law. Well, for I was alive, for I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. You know how the word teaches theology where there's no law, there's no transgression. So one could be lawless as heck, but if there's no measuring stick, no rule against it, where there's no law, there's no transgression. It would have to be something in place that goes against it in order to make it a sin. And um, what Saul's saying is here, you know, like living life without the law. You know, he was free to do him. But when the commandment came... <laughs> Sin revived and I died. It exposed uh, the fallen nature of man, right? It exposed our rebelliousness. And we got to get beyond that. Uh, Charvet, uh, Barack Shalom. And so, um, <clears throat> he said, for I was alive uh, without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. Like, we know that the commandments came from the Most High. And the word is going out of his mouth and will not return unto him void. Nothing un uh comes out of the mouth of the Most High. Nothing. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen. All the way down to his judgment. That's even, uh, you know, Kadesh. You know that that's holy. A uh, van. Thanks for thanks for chiming in. And so the commandment which was done in the life, I found uh, to be unto death. Now we can't blame the commandment. The, the fault is in humanity. You, you can't blame what Yah is telling us to do. 
That's not the problem. What he tell us, what, what he's telling us is right. But what he tells us when he when he, when he when he told us this stuff, put it on on stone. It killed us. He said it, put it on stone, handed it to Moses. Moses handed it to us. We were dead. Everybody dead. You know, we tore up. We already was tore up. That's why he had to come rescue us. But there was no measuring stick. There was no measuring stick. Um, we was towed up f for the most part within our character without question, but after the similitude of Adam's sin. But when he entered into covenant agreement um, in the uh, uh, in the in the wilderness, you know, he gave the commandments, and when the commandments, you know, his 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 holy word, you know, hit that stone. Now always remember, the stone represents the stony uh, heart of man, and his commandments is is is, is holy. And so when the commandments came, sin revived and humanity died because of our sinful nature, right? And so the 11 verse say, for, for sin taken occasion by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me. So the sin got its power based on um, uh, the law because the law exposed our disobedience. You know, we, we got a disobedient nature. Pastor, bless you. Pastor Smith, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. Hello, Mother, Mother Katie. So, um, for, for sin taking occasion by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me. You're all excited about being his chosen people. You got the commandments, the oracles is handed to you, and 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 the, and, the, and the oracles didn't do nothing but take your head off. Pr prove that you needed to be rescued. You needed a savior. Um, um, just. Y'all telling you what to do wasn't good enough because of the uh, evil nature of humanity. And, and, and so that's why Romans 8 said, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. Y'all send the son in the likeness of sinful flesh of a sin, condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after, after the flesh, but after the spirit. So the commandment came, um, which was, it was right. There was nothing wrong with the commandment. It just exposed our hand, our game. It, 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 it exposed his creation. You know, was 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 not good. And so, for eleven verse four, sin taken occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by it slew me. Wherefore the law is holy. What the Most High said is holy, and the commandment holy, just and good. Ain't nothing wrong with what he said. Was in that which is good made death unto me. No, y'all forbid, but sin. It's not what he said that was made death on you. It was the sin. It was the rebellious nature of humanity. But sin, we got a, we got a, we got a cold nature, y'all. I hope ain't no goody two shoes chiming in because, because, because you're about to be exposed. It's not true. We, we cannot. Like, we cannot um, get at each other the wrong way. We got to, if you see somebody overtaking their fault, right? The word teaches, ye, the, ye which are spiritual, restore. Going to restoration mode. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thine own self, lest thou also be tempted. That does not mean condone sin. That don't mean that at all. That don't mean uh, uh, mind your own business. That don't mean... Don't judge, and I hope I'll have to teach on judging. But you know, you know, when when the word told us uh, uh, to know them that labor among you, to know them, you in their business. Number one, to know them, know know, know them that labor among you. Uh, uh, you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear. Tree is people, fruit is what they do, and 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 you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear. Uh, uh, you're judging what they do by their fruit. So. You know, judge not to be not judged. For what judgment you judge, it shall be measured to you again. Or for what measurement you meet, it shall be measured again. All that, all, only thing that really means is if I'm telling you not to smoke, but I smoke, I'm out of pocket. And that's what uh, Romans, the second chapter, said. You're inexcusable. Whosoever you are to judge another, y'all, you condemn yourself because you do the same thing. <laughs> You're telling people not to commit adultery, and you're adulterous. But we're supposed to judge. We're the light of the world. 
and we're supposed to judge. It says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but yet reprove them, which means to correct them, to judge them. You got, you got, to, you got to judge it in order to correct it. But anyway, we got to stop being so religious with one another, right? You know, um, there is no goody two shoes. There's none good. No, not one. Nobody. Nobody. All they've seen and come short. Romans the third chapter. There's none good. So when the gospel come and expose us to ourselves that we're not good and we repent, now we're living off of his unmerited favor, his grace. His spirit is living inside of us, giving us the power to overcome sin. We just got to be willing. We just got to be a believer. We believe what he say. We have every intention of obeying it. And then you shall receive power after his, uh, his spirit has come upon you. The Ruach. The Ruach HaKadosh has come upon you. You shall receive power to live the life that you say you want to live, right? Well, we we're exposed right here. The, the, these scriptures are exposing the problem. And we find out that the problem is not the Ten Commandments. The Ten, ten, ten Commandments is not the problem. The problem is us. But you got to understand, again, going back to Romans 8, we're not there. I could turn to it this next chapter. But for, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, wasn't nothing wrong with the law that came out of his mouth. We're the problem. But that's a problem. That his yali word came out and it didn't come initially to redeem us. It came to prove we needed to be redeemed. Um, I got to understand. I don't know. I'm going to keep teaching and we could deal with it, uh, Tammy. Uh, the law of sin. Okay. Let me keep reading because maybe that will get answered. Or, But anyway. But sin taking the case. 11 verse, right? But sin taking occasion by the commandment. The commandment came. The commandment. It deceived me. You know. And by it slew me. Wherefore the law is holy, the commandment is holy, just and good. Was then that which is good made death unto me? Yah forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin. Working death in me by that which is good. That sin might, but sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. Is exposed now. We're exposed now. We can't run around here talking about one another as if we're better than anybody else. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Somebody, some people accept uh, a redemption, but ain't nobody better than nobody else. We all got some stuff that's troubling and battling. And here, I'm always going to give disclaimer. I'm not saying that we're living in sin. I'm saying we battle stuff. In other words, we're denying some wickedness. To live this life, you're daily, you're denying you're wicked. You're denying yourself to lie because you want to. You're denying yourself to sleep with folks because you want to. You're denying yourself to cuss folks out and tell them all because you want to. You're denying yourself to be lazy or whatever it might. I don't know what your thing is. I'm not saying everyone is, is, is basically running around here, you know, and, and their big thing is lying or lust or dope or two-faced it, a backstab. I don't know. Everyone got their own thing that troubled them more than others. But we all got this evil nature that we got to clamp down on and thank the Most High for Him baptizing Himself inside of us, giving us the power over ourselves, giving us the ability to deny ourselves. We got to cop to the lesser. I am not a good dude. I live this life because of the power of His Spirit, period. Tim, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. Hello, uh, Coke Don. Wherefore the law is holy, the commandment holy, just and good. Was then that which is good made death unto me? Yah forbid, but sin that it might appear sin. Working death in me by that which is good, that sin might that sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. So the commandment exposed uh, that sinful nature we got, right? For we know that the law is spiritual. Yah is a spirit, and what he say is spiritual. For for we for 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 we we for we know that the the law is spiritual, but I'm carnal, sold under sin. I got a fallen nature, sold under sin. If you don't have Yah, you got a problem. 
thinking you met a nice person. You better watch them around your kids. Nice person. What is that? We, nice people. You, man, come on, y'all. Humanity is a, re, uh, a, a, a cursed species because of sin. People talk about people generally good. Well, who told you that? You ain't. So how are you going to blame it? How are you going to say that about somebody else? Victor, thanks for chiming in. You you talking about we're generally good? Babies are good? No, they're not. They be crying and all. If they was good, they'd chill. They'll have faith that you're going to feed them because you love them and they'll just chill. <laughs> they scream. Ah, and the first words is mine, mine. I mean, humanity is imperfect species. It's just the truth. For when you're the law of spirits, but I am carnal, sold under sin. See, the, the word teaches we was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. How is babies good? We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. In sin, he said, my mother conceived me. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Look what he said. I love his honesty. I love teaching this, to be honest with you, right? For that which I do, I allow not. In other words... He's being so transparent. He said, "How, how the, the things that I do when I when I do something evil, just know I didn't want to do that. If I cussed you out, it just came. You know, if I, you know, if, whatever it might be. If I lied to you, lied on you, that which I do, I allow not. I do not want to go against the Most High, but I find myself doing it. That which I do, I allow not. For what I would, did you know?" He wanted to obey the Most High. He had every intention on obeying the Most High. For what I would, that do I not. You set out to do what's good. For what I would, that I do not. What I want to do, you know we got to be towed up. You mean to tell me that we're the species that want to do something and don't do it, but hate to do certain things and we do it? If that ain't backwards, if that's not twisted, you walk down that aisle, look them dead in their eyes and say, I love you forever. I'll never cheat on you. And you meant it when you said it. <laughs> Didn't you? What happened? Something happened, huh? <laughs> you, you, you drank all the liquor. Start throwing up, you're hugging the toilet. The toilet nasty in the dog, ain't it? You ain't care. You're normally a clean person. Drink all the liquor, hugging that scandalous, nasty toilet. Throw, I'll never do it again. Oh, get me out of this one. Get me out. Next weekend, you twerking. <laughs> you twerking and drinking again. For that which I do, I allow not. What kind of species are we? Can you be honest? Because if you can be honest with yourself, you might get saved. You might stop playing the religious game, having a form of yardiness, denying the power. You might stop, stop being so critical of other people and slow your roll and operate in the spirit of love and mercy based on you knowing yourself. If you can, it, come on, y'all. What kind of species are we? Not them, we, us. What kind of species Want to obey the most high, but don't. Can't. Want to, but can't. For that which I, I do, for that which I do, I allow not. I'm doing it, but uh-uh. Don't want to do it. Right? For, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about, Tammy. Yep. Six, yep. For, for what I would... That do I not. For what I would do, I don't even do it. But what I hate, I don't want to sin. That do I. Woo, that's cold-blooded. We toe up, y'all. Come on, y'all. We, we need to stop. We got to stop uh, running around here following uh, 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 false prophets. And, and, and this religious climate, we got to cut that mess out, y'all. We, 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 we got to, we, we, one, we need the true word that will tell us who and what we really is so we can really get some help. 
because it's toe up to have cancer, but you're going somewhere where they're telling you you don't. You'd get help. You don't even mind getting help. You, 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 you'll take the treatment if you, if you knew you had it, but where you go, they say, you good. <laughs> you ain't got it. They well, what is this big old lump right here? Oh, everybody got them lump. Everybody got that. That ain't true. Everybody got that. You don't you don't need you don't need it. Don't worry about that big old lump. If it bleed a little bit, just put a band-aid on it. Oh, you got cancer. You almost did. If then I do, <laughs> if then I do that which I would not, if if, if I'm doing something that I don't want to do, I got a problem. I need a savior. You got to admit that, folks. I don't need no... no. Being saved is for weak people. They, they didn't need a crutch to lean on. I, I got this. So it's cool that you cheating on your spouse. You're violent. You beat women. You, you go to bed with anything. You go to bed with your cousin, your brother. You're, you're a liar. You want to sell women to make money. You don't even value the woman, the the, the mother of the earth. You and, and you... I don't need... I don't need... You're a liar. You 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 got a short temper and you rude. You hurt people when you come around. People are not happy. No one's having fun around. You're evil. You shoot people. You cut people. It's people that are scared of you. People know not to have a misunderstanding with you. You might kill them. You might cut them. You might make a phone call. Ain't no telling what folks. If then I do that which I would not. We don't have to trip off nobody else. If I do that, which I would not, personally, if I personally do something that I said I wasn't going to do and I swore up and down I wasn't going to do, made up my mind, I don't want to do it. In fact, I hate to do it. I feel terrible after I do it. If then I do that, which I would not, I can sit on the law that it's good. Can't blame the most high. Let no man say he is tempted of y'all when, when he's tempted to sin. You don't blame that on him. We can't blame nobody but ourselves. If then I do that, which I would not, I can't blame the law. He told me what was right. And I agreed with it. And I agreed to do it. And then I went against it. There's a problem. There's a problem now. Now, like coming from a carnal standpoint, right? You got a carnal pastor. You sit up on a carnal ministry, right? They got this old sinner saved by grace based on this type of stuff because they don't know how to rightly divide the word, and they're carnal. And when you got somebody carnal teaching you, they ain't gonna do them to mess you up. You gotta get the you look in all that getting, get understanding. You gotta understand what's really being said and what's the spiritual process to being saved for real, right? If then I do that, which I would not, I can tell the law that it's good. See, a carnal person get the can't help us from this. Oh, well, I just can't live right then. You know, I, I want to do it, but I can't. And then they and, and then, then they, they preach that hopeless sinner saved by grace stuff, right? I want to I want to obey him, but I can't. Okay, cool. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Well, I don't get what it is. I know he said don't do it, but hey. Can't, can't obey him. If then I do that which I would not, I can sit on the law that is good. Okay, give credit where credit is due. Now then it is no more I that do it. Ooh, I get to scoot away from it too. It's no more I that do it because I want to obey him. So it's no more I that do it. I want to obey him. And when I disobey him, it ain't me. I'm R. Kelly now. It's not me. You got to see the video and everything. Uh-uh, not me. Now then, there's no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Okay. Which is fair if you rightly divide that the right way. In other words, you've come to the conclusion in your life that you belong to the Most High and you really want to obey Him. So, I'm not going to be mad at anyone that subscribes to this, that if you do something wrong, you don't want to claim it because you didn't intend to live like that. You don't want to live like that. Which is fair. That just can't be the end of the theology. We got to keep reading and keep putting this thing together, right? But, like, say, 
when you disassociate yourself with being a liar, okay, I'm going to start telling the truth. I I'm going to obey the most high. I'm going to tell the truth. And then the situation pop up and then I lie. Okay, I'm going to be like, look, that's not me. Even though you did it, but that's not me. It's the sin that dwells. There's something inside of me that's, that's taking me captivity. Because if, 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 if in my heart, in my mind, I want to serve the most high. Anitra, thanks for chiming in. In, 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 my, in, my, in my heart, is that Edith? Thank you for chiming in. More, if I said it right. But I want to serve the most high, period. That's what I want to do. And when I don't, I'm disappointed to the point that I want to disassociate myself uh, with my actions. I want, I want to get away from what I did because really in my heart. And that's where people get that theology of he knows my heart. Okay, I mess with you a little bit on that, provided that we conclude. We got to conclude something, right? And when you say your heart, you mean, you know, your intentions. Your intentions is to obey him when you receive him. That's your intentions. You, you, you don't want to sin against him anymore. You, you've been there, done that, went there, came back. I don't want to do that no more, right? So, the, so, so, so if then I do that, which I would not, that I don't want to do, I can sit under the law. What he said is good. Now then, there's no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. It's that fallen nature of humanity that's trying to ruin my life. That lust, that anger, that short temper, that unfaithfulness, that wishy-washiness. Uh, what they call it, menopause? If then I do that, which I would not, I consider the Lord that it is good. Now then, it is no more I to do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me. I guess it is menopause. For I know that in me, being honest, we can get saved now. We're almost about to be saved, y'all. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, that's that evil nature. In my flesh, right to divide the word, it's that evil nature that we got. That want to cuss you out, want to get revenge. Get, I'm sick of this, all that old stuff. That's that evil nature. For I know that in me, at first you didn't know that. You thought you was good. I mind my own business. You was lying. You lying. You don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just talk behind their back. You don't mind your own business. You you, you chop their business up when they're not around, smiling in their face. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, you like their man. You like their husband. You like their wife. That is in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Quit patting yourself on the back because... We know how to look like we got money when we broke. We know how to act like we like somebody when we really hate them. We know how to act like it's all good when it's all bad. It ain't nobody to act. But when the word catch up with you, when you really get out of religion and get a true relationship with the most high, you can admit you got some things about you ain't cool. And then the world will confront you to where you ain't got to pretend no more. Franklin, thanks for chiming in. We ain't, in this, only the pure in heart going to see him. You got to come, all that old game, that slick stuff, put your game face on, poker face, all that is for the world. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. You ain't cool. No is she, no is he. You might look good, though, but you ain't cool. From 8 to 80, you ain't cool. That's eight months, eight days. <laughs> Eight minutes old. <laughs> Eight seconds after conception. For I know that it is in me, that is in my flesh, dwell of no good thing, we finally know. For to will is present with me. I got the desire to do what's right. Brandon, thanks for chiming in. You're just in time. It's going down. For I know that it is in me, that is in my flesh, dwell of no good thing. For to will, the desire to do what's right is with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. The desire to do what's good is with me, but how to do it? All I want to do is counsel. Why you end up in the bed with him? I just wanted to make up, but how you end up shooting him? For the good that I would, I do not. Okay? For the good, he make it the plainer. I wanted to do good. That I would, I don't even do it. But the evil, which I would not, got to apologize again. Man, are you kidding me? I don't know, man. I'm almost embarrassed that I got to apologize again. 
because I have intentions on living this life and not cross you up. I'm sorry. I, I promised I wasn't going to do it and I did it again. I, I'm sorry. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that which I would not, okay, again, you know, I, I'm, I'm exposing my intentions. My intentions are pure. But my actions is terrible. Now, if I do that, which I would not, you don't understand that. You hate me for what I'm doing. You think I'm the seed of the devil because of how I'm living. Word told you, you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear. You're looking at me. My tree ain't looking too good right now. Now, if I do that, which I would not, but I'm speaking from my position. I'm trying to get some mercy here. I'm trying to get some help right now, y'all. Now, if I do that, which I would not, you don't know my heart. Oh, here we go. I'm working with the heart thing just a little bit right now to, just to get through the lesson, y'all, So, so we can, because we're going somewhere. I'm not going to park right there, right? Too many people running around here living like the devil talking about uh, uh, he knows my heart. Uh, you know, we got we to gotta graduate from that. I'm going to mess with you right now because he's exposing his heart right here, but he's not going to end the conversation right here. So bear with me. For... Now, if I do that, which I would not, I don't want to do this. But this is real talk. Ain't no game in this. Now, if I do that, which I would not, I did not want to cuss you out. I came to apologize. I did not want to sleep with you. It's going against the most high. I belong to him. I can't live like this. I did not. I don't want to do drugs no more. I did not. No. End up cussing you out. I, I, I don't cuss no more. What am I doing? Now, if I do that, which I would not, there's no more I to do it. Oh, you don't want to hear that, huh? I cussed you out, keyed your car. You don't want to hear me talk about it wasn't me. You, you, you on camera. I watched. You punched me. What you mean you didn't do it? Now, if I do that, which I would not, there's no more I to do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me. We're a fallen species, y'all, with good intentions. If you belong to him, if you come to him, now you got good intentions. You got good intentions. You have every intention on walking in the call on your life. You have, you have, you have every intention on being a vessel of honor. You have every intention. You have every intention on being faith, uh, uh, faithful and patient. You have every intention on loving and forgiving. You have every intention on being faithful to the ministry and even give. Right? I hope you have at least intentions. I know you ain't doing it. <laughs> but at least you do have intentions on doing it, don't you? <laughs> you ain't doing it. No. So I'm, uh -uh, mm -mm, you ain't getting my money hard as I work. You're not that person no more. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give. I'm going to support. Yeah. Well, I was going to. <laughs> Had more bills than I thought. Uh, my partner called. He was out. He came in town. I didn't see. Maybe next time. Now, if I do that, which I would not, I don't want to do this. It is no more I that, that do it. But seeing that dwelleth in me, he's separating himself because he wants to be saved. He wants to be righteous. He wants to be what they call holy. Kadesh. He wants to be Kadesh. He wants to be like Yah. He wants to please his father. She wants to please her father. Get your hand off my leg. No. It ain't right. Uh uh. No, I'm not coming over there. Okay, I'll come over there just for a minute, but we ain't gonna do nothing. I find then a law that when I would do good, okay, I'm talking about somebody that's saved that wanna do good. I'm not talking about somebody w w that want to do evil, that's trying to, trying to be slick and want to set you up. I find a law. That's scary. When you mean a law, you mean you talking about an incident? You don't have a law. A law? You mean it's going to keep happening? You mean I want to do right, but I can't? A law? I find then a law that when I would do good, Evil is present with me. Trying to look you dead in the eyes, but you kind of shape some kind of way that, oh. Uh. 
trying to forgive you, but you just scandalous and I got a grudge now. A law that I want to line up with the word if I had another fight at the job. <laughs> I had another fight at the job. Drunk again. All right, one more cigarette. Just one more. I know the word says defile not the temple. If, if I defile the temple, he'll destroy me. Okay, just one more. I find in a law. It's a law. Paul found a law. Shaul is his name, y'all. Paul found a law that when I would do good, evil is present. When I'm doing good, my evil nature is plotting and looking. I forgive you, even if you say, yeah, right. <laughs> Forgiving nothing. Please, you better get out my dog on face. For I delight in the law of Yah after the inward man. See, see, the law came, sin revived, and he died. The law came. Before the law, you was lawless. You live how you want to. Do whatever you want to. Come and go as you please. Hate whoever you want to. Talk about whoever you want to. Stay out as late, whatever. Disrespect your parents, whatever. Set them up. Take their money. Tell them you're in love with them. Break their little heart. Broke their little wallet and their heart. Wallet broke it in their heart, but shoot. Close race. For I delight in the law of y'all after the inward man. I have every intention on living right. I have every intention on loving the most high. Get mad when folks say, you don't love him, look at you. You get mad. I do. Word told me to know them, the labor among you, and you act like the devil. You are a religious devil. You scandalous. I can't trust you around my children. I can't trust you around my spouse. I can't trust you in my house. Where, where, my, where, where, where my watch at? Oh, wretched man that I am. Oh, no, 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 no. I skipped. I'm sorry, y'all. 22. For I delight in the law of y'all after the inward man. We need to get some of the inward man out, don't we? <laughs> you saved his heck on the inside, huh? But how you live is, ugh. You turn people off. Go to church with me. Baby, you, you, man, I just came in the club with you. Just got out the bed with you. I'm just getting drunk with you and you drank the last, you took the last sip and you didn't even put in. Tell me I go to church with you, joker. <laughs> but I see another law of my members. Warn against the law of my mind. Look, there's something in me, the enemy in me. <laughs> I see a, a a law in my mem inside of me. I can't run from me. I went, I went to sleep with me, woke up this morning. I'm right here. Walk past the mirror and that joker right there. You stop, turn, look. Yeah, right here. I see another law in my memory. Can you be real with yourself today? This evening? I see another law in my members. You like your girlfriend, husband? <laughs> Do you? Did she know? But I see another law in my members warring against the law in my mind. That's my friend. That's my friend. I, please. Why you? How you gonna accuse me of that? See, that's what I'm saying. See, I don't play that. I, well, I always folks are all. Yeah, you do. Who you fooling but yourself? You do. I see another law. Can you be honest with yourself? Shh. Don't open your mouth too wide. A skeleton might fall out. Shh. I see another law of my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Can't blame nobody else. It's in you. Yeah. Smack dab inside you. Can we get honest? Like Shaul did, they call him Paul, y'all. Can we be honest? 
24 verse say, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Now we finna get saved. Finally. We've been complimenting our heart. Even though we live like the devil. We've been complimenting our intentions. I didn't mean to do that. Got the can't help it. But when we got to the 24th verse, we finally messed around and we're setting a platform to get saved. You'll find how to love people when you get to the 24th verse. You'll find out how to be more merciful to other people. You'll reach for them in love. You'll cry with people. You know, I say, uh, weep with them to weep and rejoice with them to rejoice. You, you'll be in the mode to rejoice with folks and cry with them when you get to the 24th verse. Long as you lightweight in self-denial. See, there's a self-denial piece in here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be 100% self-denial. I don't believe that Shaul was necessarily abiding self-denial when he was writing this. I think he was really sincere. And But, 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 um, in his sincerity, a person get lost in it and, 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 and come out self-righteous or believing they got some cushion because of his honesty. You know how people, people like to ride the piggyback and want to roll with, he knows my heart. Well, at the end of the day, you got to know your heart because you having intentions on doing what's right don't make your heart good. You give the credit to your heart. But out of the heart flows the issues of life. If something ever really get in your heart, that's what you'll do. Because when you fall in love with that woman, you'll find money to give when you were telling the ministry you ain't got none. If the most high get in your heart, then you're not as broke as what you're saying because you'll find it for him. That his work go forth. You'll find the time for him. When we don't have time, something else is more important. We're spending our time elsewhere. If we mess around and get to the 24th verse, you'll find out that you're not good. And because of that, you appreciate salvation more. And you'll even want it for other folks that you deem ain't good. If you can mess around and put yourself in the category that you put other people, that's where you'll find your humility. <laughs> you'll find how not to say so many rude things to people. You'll find how to season your conversation with what they call grace. You'll be careful what you say, considering thy own self. At least I'll also be tempted. Because you know you're tempted. 24 first. It's what we need. Oh, wretched man that I am. <clears throat> okay, I ain't cool. So now I'm ready to get saved. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I'm ready to work that. I'm ready. I know him. I know the law. He said, well, uh, I was alive once without the law, but when the law came, sin revived and I died. So now I'm confronted with a relationship with the most high and I still ain't saved. Because I want to obey him now that I know him. I'm getting to know him and I want to obey him, but I ain't even doing it. So I'm disassociating myself with my actions because inside I really want to serve him. So now, I'm, now, now let's talk business. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I'm a dead religious man. <laughs> I don't need false doctrine. Once saved, always saved, you know. <laughs> I'm a sinner saved by grace. Get that up out of here. That's a lie. He said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? He didn't say, I'm a sinner saved by grace. He didn't, he didn't expose the fact that he wanted to live right and couldn't, so he's a sinner saved by grace. That's not what he said. It's not what he said at all. Ramos, thanks for chiming in. <laughs> He said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? He knew he, the wages of sin is death. He just said it in, in Romans, the sixth chapter, last verse. Last thing he said, the wages of sin is death, but the gift. 
Oh, rich man that I am, who should deliver me from the body's death? Because I got good intentions, but I'm a dead man. Yeah, you can judge me on by what I do. Even though I talked all that heart stuff. In my heart, I want to serve him, but I ain't doing it. Yep, now we full circle. Yep, you should know every tree by the fruit to bear. I have intentions in my uh, so-called heart that I'm going to obey him, but I ain't doing it. <clears throat> and when you conclude that you still got to live it, because the wage of sin is still death, now he can work with you. Can you say, oh, wretched man that I am, oh, wretched woman that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of death? Shh, that'll stop you from bum-rushing people verbally and even in your head. Slow your roll. Pump your brakes, Yahuda. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I need some help. 25th verse. I thank Yah that through Yahushua HaMashiach, our Adonai, so then with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yah with my mind. My intentions is to serve Yah. That voice inside of me telling me obey, I want to. The part of me that wants to do to, to, to do what he say and to follow him 100%. So then with the mind, I serve Yah. I obey his word with my mind, but with the flesh. Now, you still, you got to know that's in my flesh. It's not talking about this physical vessel. It's talking about that, that sinful soul, that, that, that evil nature that we have. It's talking about that evil nature that we have. So with the mind, my intentions, I want to serve Yah, but I got an evil nature, that law. That evil nature, that law of sin and death, that, that law of the fall, my fallen nature that's dead, that carnal nature, that carnal mind that's enmity against Yah is not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. It will not stop. So now I'm schizophrenic. Because before the law came, I was dead. Just thought I was alive. I was alive once without the law. No, you was dead. Just didn't know it. You was free to do whatever you wanted. With a free conscience. A dead conscience. That didn't work towards the most high. So you can sleep with them and feel good. Go brag about it. <laughs> Get high. Woo! Boy, I was high. Woo! It was good. Man, I beat them so bad. Man, I got my woman, I beat her and kicked her all in her face playing with me. Man, you know I'm about my money, man. Feel good about it. But when the law came, sin revived and I died, the law exposed, you tore up from the flow up. The law came, you said, you know what, I want, a, I want a relationship with the most high. Then you found that boy, you better get away from that law, you tore up. Ain't no salvation in that law for you. Ain't no salvation in what he said for you. As long as what he said for you is on stone, on your stony heart. Get away from them carnal commandments. You need, you need something more. So if you come to the end of yourself and quit playing uh, 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 religion. If you come to the end of yourself, quit thinking you're better than somebody else. Looking down on your spiritual nose at somebody else. If you come to the end of yourself, he can use you. If you, if you can admit, if you can look in the mirror and admit you ain't cool, then he can use you because now you're ready to change. So I thank the Messiah that with my mind I serve him. I serve the Most High. But I got an evil nature and I got to admit it. Now let's get to the bottom of this real quick because the conversation didn't end right there. Chapters and verses just to navigate through the book. The conversation is still going. Therefore, 8 and 1. Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation of them who are in Yahushua. You in the Messiah? 
Muhammad, thanks for chiming in. There's therefore now no condemnation to them who are in the Messiah. See, people stop right there. Oh, I got him. They, that ain't it. Uh, Paul had him too. And he, he wasn't obeying him. He was schizophrenic. He was hollering, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of his death? He met him, but, but now it's time to get him. Look, let me keep going. Because he was approaching it from a law standpoint, and that's the point here, but let me keep going. There's therefore now no condemnation of them who are in the Messiah. You got to get the Messiah without question, but you can't stop right there. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Y'all know what that means? That means you got a dual thing going on. You still human. You still, you still got that evil nature. That's why Shaul just said, when I would do good, obey Yah, evil is present. That evil nature. We all have an evil nature. If they look good enough, they can arouse us. And we want to feel me with they make us mad as enough. We want to get busy. What? Who are you talking to? You got me messed up. What? Huh? For real? You don't want to go there, pimping. No, you don't. No, 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 no. I'm not the one. There's therefore now no condemnation. You got to be in the Mashiach, period. Buddha can't help you out of this. Religion can't help you. Kemet brothers, no. Mm -mm. Muhammad, none of them. Mm -mm. You need the Mashiach. There's therefore now no condemnation of them who are in the Mashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You got to deny yourself. You got an evil nature. You gonna have to turn around and learn to tell yourself no. Still will. You have to learn to tell yourself no. The Mashiach said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. You can't, you can't, you can't believe you wicked just because you tempted. You can't believe you're the seed of Satan just because you have a desire. Blessed is the man that endureth the desire. Don't give in to the desire. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, when he is tested, he shall receive a crown of life, which Yah has promised to them and they love him. And if you love him, keep his commandments. Do what he tell you to do. And don't go to the commandments on stone, because he's been giving commandments from the beginning. He gave a commandment for them not to eat of the tree, remember? He gave commandments to Moses. I mean to Abraham. And Abraham was 430 years before the law. So don't get caught up. Learn how to rightly divide the word. You see the word commandment, you go straight back to stone. No, he been telling us what to do. He been telling us what to do and what not to do from the gate. There is therefore now no condemnation of them who are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Quit obeying you. You're going to kill yourself. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection. It's your death, burial, and resurrection too. You got to die to yourself and quit messing with yourself because you're going to destroy yourself listening to yourself. Folks be thinking they're doing good and they ain't. <laughs> funny. It ain't funny. There's therefore now no condemnation. You don't want to be condemned? Look, this world is condemned. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yah didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He didn't send his son in the world to condemn the world because the world was already condemned. He came to save that which is lost. He came to reverse the curse. He came to rescue the believer. From the wrath to come. The condemnation. James, thanks for chiming in. Mr. Harris. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the Mashiach. Who do not obey themselves but obey the spirit. And the Mashiach said the words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. The words that I speak unto you are ruah. And life. 
I'm going to keep the lesson short, y'all. I can keep going. Because there's all kind of more food. Should I keep going? Yeah, I'm going to go just a little just a little bit more. Especially because more people still chiming in. I'm just going to go just a little bit more. Yeah. So there's therefore now no condemnation of them that's in the Mashiach, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, right? For the law of the spirit of life in the Mashiach has made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, I went this far, too, which is going to help out our sister Tammy. When she came with the law of sin in the sixth chapter, right? For the law of the spirit of life. Did you know uh, there's a law associated with the spirit of life? And the law of the spirit is life. The spirit, the Ruah of the Most High, his living word has a law. It gives you life. That's the law. Obeying his word is attached with a law. You want eternal life? Obey the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Walk in his word. Obey his word and there's a law attached to it. You got eternal life. For the law of the spirit of life in the Mashiach. Your eternal life is in the Mashiach. What was in the Mashiach? The word. It was the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. For the law of the spirit of life which is in the Mashiach has made me free. That's what freed me from the law of sin and death. Because I'm, I, I don't walk after the flesh no more. I don't walk after my evil desire no more. I walk after what he tell me to do. And that gives me eternal life. I believe the Mashiach died on a tree for me. I confess it with my mouth, believed in my heart, confession is made of salvation, and one believeth on the righteousness. I believe the word, and, and the type of belief I have in the word is to do it, and that leads me to righteousness, because obeying the word is uh, causes a righteous lifestyle. The word is going to tell me what to do, and when I obey it, I'm going to live righteous. And we just quoted this a little while ago. Third verse. For what the law could not do. Romans is really cutting that law up heavily. And that's what it was doing in the seventh chapter, right? It talked about the law of the husband and the wife and all that. If you read the whole chapter of Romans 7, right? But we just dove in when the law came, sin revived and he died, right? But this is just letting you know, get rid of the law, get a relationship with the, with the Mashiach. Because he's the fulfillment of the law. The Mashiach is the end of the law to them that believe. To the to the Hebrew first, to, to Israel first, and also to the Gentile. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, wasn't nothing wrong with what Yah said. We just couldn't obey it. The, the problems with the weaknesses in us. For what, what the law could not do in that it was weak through our flesh, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. He became a human being to redeem us from the curse of the law. The law cursed us because we ain't cool. Marlon, thanks for chiming in. We ain't cool. Ain't nobody cool. I care how white their teeth is. Your teeth white? Is your teeth white? For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Where is the condemnation in our evil nature? You want to go to hell? Obey you. You're going to hell. Obey you. You're going to lead yourself right to hell. Be baptized into his death and you get to live. Be reborn, you get to live. Denounce yourself. The gospel come. Denounce yourself. I'm not talking about religion and opening a church. I'm not talking about joining a camp and get up under the law and get you some doggone fringes. Some little jangly thread hanging from your clothes. I want to get a scissor and cut them. Ain't going to mess up the washing machine or nothing. And did the stuff get it. For, for, for what the law could not do. What could the, wearing that stuff ain't going to help you. Physical day. You better get the real rest. You ain't gonna clean up. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna pump no gas, nothing, right? And you that's the rest you think he was talking about? 
The Mashiach said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. You'll find rest of your souls. Don't you think that's the rest he was talking about? Isn't he the fulfillment of the law? For what the law could not do. Talking about the physical law. What can he do? <laughs> in that it was weak through the flesh. Y'all sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh of a sin. Condemn sin in the flesh. He, sin is in that evil nature. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to stop right there. That the righteousness of the law. The Ten Commandments has righteousness in it. The word is the righteous part of the law. It was on stone, Ten Commandments. Remove the stony heart of man, and then that word is spiritual. And if it's baptized inside of you, it's love. And the first five of them, or four really, but you know, the first four of them is dealing with uh, respecting the Most High, loving Him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Hear, O Israel, know that He's one. And you must love with a heart, all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And 5 through uh, 10 is humanity, how to treat each other. If you know that he's one and love uh, um, uh, him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, 5 through 10, upon that, hang all the law and the prophets. You good. You are good. No fringes or none of that. <laughs> no feast days or none of that. You good. <laughs> no no new moons, no new festivals, none of that. You good. You gonna love him and obey him and you gonna love we're gonna love each other. We done messed around and got saved in Romans seven and twenty four when I realized, oh wretched man that I am, who am I to talk about you? Oh wretched man that I am, who gonna deliver me from the body that I need to be delivered? And when I realize that, then he can anoint me to help deliver you. And I'm going to do it with love and patience. Because y'all know I need it. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for gleaning through the world. We pray that your children was fed and they ate sumptuously. Uh, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of your mouth. We pray that your word went forth out of your mouth. Will not return unto your boy, will accomplish what you please, and you pleased it to rescue your children. Send your word to rescue your children. The soul went to soul, you sold the word, and here we are. Eating it up. Save us to the uttermost. Give us humility and the love we need moving forward. We trust, believe, and thank you that it is done in the matchless name of Yahushua. I'm see as we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. That was it, y'all. That was the lesson for tonight. We pray that the word blessed you, found you, blessed you real good. Um, let's be humble about how we treat one another and love on one another. And let's encourage uh, each other and so much the more as we see the day approaching because the day is approaching fast. Um, easy to go witnessing. If the lesson blessed you and you got something out of it, push the, um, the uh, share button, please. All you got to do is push share. If the lesson blessed you, it can bless somebody. Derek Hughes, I just got finished, man. Bless you, man. You got to push play. You got to listen to this message, man. Go back and listen to it. You my brother, man. I love you, dude. Push play, bro. But uh, if, if you, if, if push share, y'all. Push share on the lesson. It's, it'll bless somebody if it blessed you. If you're looking for a good ministry to sow into and, and you're eating and, and, and you're changing because of the ministry, then bless the ministry that we might go forth and continue to do the work of the Most High. All you got to do is go to PayPal. Put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N -N, 5857 at Yahoo.com. Y'all push share and those that are getting blessed by the ministry support it financially. Regularly, too. Let's let's keep going. Let's see. everybody do what they're supposed to do. Um, for the most high. We're on the conference line right now. 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Um, eight. Chime in if y'all want to chop it up. I love each and every one of you. Let's talk. Y'all be Baruch and Brock Shalom. Derek, I love you, man. I'm gonna call you, man.
Y'all are still pushing hearts and stuff, but I got to get out of here. Come on, let me go. <clears throat> it don't want to let me go again. <laughs> this is funny.